It's Transformers 96 here with another video review, this time of the Iron Man 3 Assembler's Interchangeable Armor System 3 and quarter inch Iron Patriot. So here you go. So this uh, new first wave of the uh, Iron Man 3 3 quarter inch figures, I just found at my local Toys R Us yesterday. And um, yeah, this is the only one I picked up. And uh, so yeah, so the only one I was really interested in, the Mark 42, uh, I kind of wanted because it's of course the new armor, but just went with the Iron Patriot now, and maybe I'll pick up the uh, Mark 42 later, but uh, but not sure. But first of all, just going over the new box design for uh, these Iron Man 3 figures, of course up there you've got the Mark 42, at least I think it's the Mark 42, I've heard it that it's the Mark 47, and you know, so I, I don't really know, but there's the new Iron Man up there, you got Iron Man 3 um, behind it. Is just his huge hall of armor, I guess. You can see the Mark V over there. Looks like even War Machines in there. Um, there's the new, uh, the new Mark 42 or whatever. And it's just everything. I don't know if Iron Man's actually gonna have like one of these in his house. Um, considering he has over 40 armors, maybe. I don't know. The the concept of this movie is getting a little ridiculous uh, from what I've heard. But what are you gonna do? Build 25 plus armor combinations. And uh, the whole assemblers is the new gimmick of this toy line. As you can see, you got a nice picture of the figure over there, as well as the figure broken down. In package, it is all, um, it is broken down, like, all the pieces are separated, so yeah, just so you know. It doesn't look great when it's in package, but it looks okay. And then it, it shows you an example, Iron Patriot plus the, uh, the stealth, uh, tech, um, Iron Man, and then you can do this custom armor. Overall, the gimmick idea is actually pretty good for kids. Uh, for collectors, it's horrible, but what are you gonna do? And then over a hundred, hundreds of more combination so yeah so there you go the bio of Iron Patriot um, you can read it no spoilers about the movie unfortunately but um but there you go yeah it just it talks about now he can go protect the city with his new colors of his armor you get a nice picture of the figure um, over there with number three makes it easier to sh uh, shuffle through the figures on the toilet on the um, the rack when it's got that what I love about this box is um, it, it it just has tabs over here. There's no more having to peel it off or, you know, rip the back or cut it. It is 100% able to just open it up, take your figure out, put the uh, the insert back in, and shut it. So, if you were one of the people that likes to have it out of package but then throw it back in package later, this is perfect because you don't need to, it doesn't damage the package at all to take the figure out. You can have a perfectly mint package even after you've taken your figure out, which is nice. So, a very lengthy review of the box, but, uh, because it's the first one, I definitely want to do a review of the box. So anyway, here's Iron Patriot. Of course, we all know this is War Machine in his new red, white, and blue color scheme. It is, of course, not Norman Osborn like it is in the comics. Starting off with the sculpt here. So it's focusing in on the box. Let me just take the box out. And yeah, there you go. So as you can see, the face sculpt's actually pretty cool. I do like the lines in the face, like right under the eyes. That does seem to be uh, accurate to the movie. And I like the mouth and everything. Overall, looks pretty cool. As far as the body, the body's a little large, um, not quite as uh, you know nice. I will do comparisons, of course, uh, being that this is the new toy line. But overall, looks decent. The arm there, you've got a big hole right in the middle of his arm there, and even from the front, you can see the hole, unfortunately. And um, so that's a shame. That is to plug in his weapon. Overall, yeah. There's his hands and everything. Looks decent. There's like some big thighs. I don't understand that. This new toy line seems to have like big thighs. Uh, I don't know why. I guess it's just to help plug in the legs or something. I don't know though. And then you get a. Uh it's a, it's a, design wise, it's decent. It's it's pretty okay. I mean, I'm um, definitely nothing to compare with the Iron Man 2 toy line, but for this new toy line, it's okay. As far as the paint. I like the shiny silver, they did a really good job, and in some places there's a, it's shiny red, which is nice, and then in some places it, the blue has a little bit of a shimmer to it, and in some places it's just a flat blue, but overall it looks pretty good. As far as the actual paint um, applying, just right there in the middle section, the red does have a few little splotches up on the blue, and on the side here it doesn't seem to be painted perfect, so in the lower, lower torso uh, there is some paint issues, and on the arm just, this is not 
that bad, but there is a little bit of smudging with the silver. Overall, being that this is a, a toy marketed for uh, children and, you know, has these crazy colors that are completely different from each other, I expected a lot of uh, mispaints and mistakes with that. And actually, surprisingly, there aren't that many. There are a few, which is to be expected, but there aren't that many compared to, uh, so, to some of the other toys that are marketed for children. So, overall, I'm pretty impressed in that. The back there is very plain. I mean, you've got the blue uh, with some of the silvers going back and some red details. I, I just, I hate that, you know, because it's a kid's toy, the back can be horrible, uh, which really sucks. But the design does go through the back, which is nice. Um, overall, the detailing on the paint is pretty good. So now let's go over the whole uh, gimmicks and, um, and his, his, uh, all of his accessories and stuff like that. Okay, to go over his gimmicks and his accessories and stuff like that, as you can see, he does have a weapon, a firing missile, and two extra arms. I will replace the arms and show you that in a second. But first of all, just to go over the weapon, as you can see here, it's just this little circle kind of gun thing, and it's black and silver. These are iron uh, I and mean, War Machine's colors. Um, I'm I'm pretty surprised that this weapon didn't come with War Machine because there are there is a War Machine in this first wave uh, because it totally looks like a War Machine gun. Would have much rather they actually painted this like a uh, red, white, and blue, but they didn't, uh, which is okay. The detailing's okay, but I just I really don't know what this is even supposed to be. But there are of course the holes in the arms like I've pointed out before, and then you can just plug it in, it goes in pretty okay, and then just uh, put the, the missile in, there you go. And you know you can have them like this with a huge cannon and a missile. The, uh, the trigger is right there, you can press it and it goes, it's a pretty decent um, Decent spring, considering the front is pretty heavy compared to most missiles. It does pretty, it does go pretty much far, which is nice. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty decent. On the back here, this is the accessory that I do really like him having. He does have this like not quite Gatling gun like he does as War Machine, but he does have this. I don't know what this is supposed to be. If it shoots bullets or missiles or whatever, but uh, but he does have this. Sorry. It's not focusing. There you go. As you can see, it does have this. It is, it is designed pretty well, and it looks decent. Uh, what's nice is he does have, of course, the peg on his back, or you can just peg this in and have it going to one side or the other. Unfortunately, from the front, it is pretty hidden. I mean, I wish that they had it up a little bit more so you could see it and it's a little bit more prominent, but you really can't, unfortunately. But what I do like and was surprised about is there is a separate peg that you can peg it on, and then he has it kind of folded back. It does stick out quite far and is obtrusive, but, uh, but it's still nice that they did it, um, and I, I was surprised that they did it too, so overall that's pretty cool. And um, and also with this, I'm really happy that they gave you this weapon. Instead of making this, you know, a huge, you know, gun that shoots a missile, they actually kept it accurate to the movie and not a gimmick, which they could have easily done and I would have expected them to do, but they didn't, which is pretty awesome. Um, his whole gimmick is you can replace the legs and the arms and stuff. Uh, I don't have another uh, figure with le uh, legs because this is the only figure I have. So can't replace the legs, but the arms they do just pop out pretty easily. Um, as you can see there, there's just a little clip, which uh, which is how you plug them in. So yeah, so you can take that out and plug in this arm. What's nice is the arms are very easy to interchange, and uh, they'd definitely be good for kids. As far as um, they they won't need help interchanging the arms or anything. The legs are pretty hard to put in, surprisingly, but uh, but you know they, they can probably do it themselves. But as you can see, it looks decent. I mean, the arm, the detail on the arms is actually pretty good, uh, surprisingly. It's got a lot of detail, which is nice. And um, this is a lot better. The the uh, the peg to put in the weapon is on the side and not towards the front, so it is hidden a little bit more, which is nice. Overall, it's cool. It's got a neat kind of look. He looks tough this way. Kids might like it. Not a lot of paint. A solid blue with the arm pads being a metallic red, which does look pretty cool. But other than that, nothing too special here. It is kind of nice, and um, the gimmick itself, I think, is pretty fun for kids. Um, I know that uh, Robots, which was like a little animated movie, they had the same type of uh, gimmick, and I collected that as a kid, I really, it, it was really fun, I really did like uh, creating your own armors and stuff. Overall, it's a pretty decent gimmick for kids. Collectors, unfortunately, you know, it's it's not good with uh, pretty much at all, but overall it is, does really work for the kids and everything. As far as articulation, this is what um, everybody... Uh, everybody knows and hates about these figures. Articulation, first 
off starting the head is a ball joint. It's a pretty nice ball joint. It does go up a pretty decent amount and goes down in overall. That's pretty cool. It has a nice swivel to it. It is actually a better joint than Iron Man 2 uh, used. The Iron Man 2 joints were pretty solid and you couldn't really move them very much. Um, but this is has a decent range of motion. On the shoulders, ball hinge, of course, very nice and uh, pretty standard for the Timothy Cornish figures, which is awesome. And then that's where it takes the turn for the worst. Nothing in the waist, no more in the arms, and hips are just a swivel. So we lose almost every single point of articulation with this new figure compared to the Iron Man 2 and Avengers toy line. Unfortunately, it is really horrible. This is the part that everybody hates, and I, including myself, just absolutely hate. For kids, I guess they're not going to notice it, they won't mind it, and these are definitely more directed for kids. So unfortunately, they don't really care about us in this instance. Uh, they just, they're fine as long as the kids like it. So overall, really horrible articulation, and that is definitely the worst part about this figure. Let's do some, uh, some comparisons. So here is the Iron Man 3 uh, movie Iron Patriot compared with the Marvel Universe Iron Patriot, the Iron Man 2 War Machine, and then the Iron Man 2 War Machine with the light up gimmick, that one is all the way to the left, and of course the uh, Avengers Mark 7 Iron Man. As you can see, in scale he's pretty decent, uh, He's it looks like he's just uh, slightly taller than the uh, Mark 7, um, but he's shorter than the rest of them. Overall, he's a pretty decent size, in package he looks pretty small just because he's broken down I guess the pieces just look really small but uh, but when you have them all put together of course and put them against the others he's a pretty decent size as far as the proportions that I was talking about his stomach it is a lot bigger I mean it's it's definitely like the uh, the the waist and the stomach of uh, the uh, war machine with the light-up gimmick but of course that one had to fit a whole light-up gimmick in there so that's why it was a little bit more bulky and looked a little bit stranger unfortunately they, they of course didn't need to put a gimmick in there but it still has that kind of bulky look I really don't like it too much. It's not a huge flaw, but it's just not something that's great. The thighs are pretty big, um, and that, of course, I just don't know why they did that. The thighs are, are strange looking uh, because of how big they are, but other than that, the proportions are nice, and he's a decent size. Uh, just a little bit taller than the Mark 7, but a little bit shorter than all the rest. Overall, just with them all, I mean, I, what, what's, what just absolutely blows my mind is the War Machine that's right next to him is a fantastic figure, so much articulation, so many cool gimmicks, great paint, great sculpting, and it's just really fantastic. And when that came out, that was $8. Now we get this figure with so much less, less on every single scale, and it is $11. So you're paying so much more for so much less just from the last movie, which is very unfortunate and a just disappointment to Hasbro and to the Hasbro's fans that buy the toy. So overall, compared to when I saw the pictures, I absolutely hated it. I thought it looked horrible. Getting it in hand, it did slightly better than I expected. As far as the paint apps are a lot better applied than I was expecting. And um, the paint itself is a decent colors. They pick some nice colors. It works really well to capture the look of uh, the Iron Patriot. So overall, the paint was pretty nice and did impress me slightly from what I expected. As far as the whole gimmick, it, it really does nothing for me. It really sucks uh, that they have this gimmick, but I understand why they did it. It's it's an acceptable move by Hasbro because uh, it is definitely a gimmick that I think kids will have a lot of fun with. So even though it's not for the collectors, I mean, they please one audience, they can't please them both, uh, you know, unless they do some other stuff. But overall, I think that the gimmick's okay for kids, not great for collectors. The sculpt, in wise is, uh, is decent other than the waist and thighs. I think it looks a little strange, but other than that, it looks okay. And the sculpting itself is pretty nice. Um, I definitely think that Iron Patriot is probably going to be the best seller out of all of them, considering there are, in this first wave, only two figures that are actually in the movie, at least. I think so. I mean, Iron Man has so many armors, they might all be in the movie, but I have no idea. This is definitely going to be a main character in the movie. It's definitely the brightest and most colorful, which will probably attract some kids. And uh, and I definitely think that out of the ones I've seen, this is the best looking. Um, it is the exact same mold as the War Machine, uh, except the War Machine, I think, has a different gun and all different accessories and different paint, of course. Overall,
overall, it's an okay figure uh, for collectors. Definitely wouldn't recommend it too much unless you're a big fan of Think the Quarter Inch Line and a big fan of Iron Man 3. Then I'd say go ahead and get it and get the Mark 47. Those are the only two that I recommend out of the first wave just from seeing them and owning this one. Overall, I am I'm pretty happy that I bought it. Uh, it does cost $11, which is way overpriced in my mind. Uh, I did have 20% off, so I did get it for cheaper. I'd recommend just wait for these things to go on sale because they're not going to sell great. When I went there, they had they had two of every single character, so they they didn't sell any, and it, it was midway through the day. Being that these are such a new toy line, you'd think that they'd have a few less at least, but they were fully stocked. So these things are not going to be popular, uh, especially with collectors not buying them. So I definitely think that they'll go on clearance soon or, or soon enough. So I definitely recommend waiting for that. Overall, they're decent figures for collectors, great figures for kids. So if you have a kid or you're buying for a kid or you are a kid, you'll probably like this. It's, a, it's an enjoyable figure with its features. And I do love the box. So overall, that's my review of the Iron Man 3 Assembler interchangeable armor system think the quarter inch iron patriot thanks for watching Mission as far as 96 here, just want to say thank you for watching my review, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the Super Bowl today, if you're going to be watching it. I definitely will be, and the most exciting part for myself is definitely the trailers. Cannot wait to see the Iron Man 3 trailer, see more of this guy in the movie, and uh, yeah, so hope that you enjoy, and hope that the team that you're rooting for wins.